So I have to tell a quick story. So as tradition in uh, the States, it's the, the father of the bride's job to help pay for this whole shit dick. Somebody wanted to marry someone, the guy would often give the father of the to be bride like cattle, right? I'm, I'm paying this step. So if my brother would go bring him in, bring how to pick the chicken thing. sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, according to God's ordinance and the holy bond of marriage. If so, say I will. I will. I will. By virtue of the vows you have exchanged, you have established a home. Are you willing together to commit yourselves not only to each other, but by God's grace to establish a home in which Christ shall be head, in which his love shall be practiced, and which his word shall be read, and his church loved, honored, and upheld. If you are willing to accept this ring, look at the congregation and say loudly, we do. We do. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. I present Mr. and Mrs. Caleb and Stephanie Galbranson. Let's get our biggest round of applause. Caleb and Stephanie. Stephanie and I have a little tradition of taking a very particular picture when we're together that my grandma always asks, and so I don't have to hear about it from my grandma for the rest of my life. Grandma, this is your chance to grab your phone or whoever's phone is accessible to you. Please don't kill me for taking one last picture. There's four phones. I'm looking at grandma. Just look at Grandma. And certainly to all of you, I'm really glad that you're here. It wouldn't be the same celebrating this wedding without you. Cheaper. <laughs> I did discover, by the way, um, this week is we made cocoa bombs at my house. I'm allergic to cocoa bombs, so if you see me tear up, it's that. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna go here. Perfect. Hello. Hi. I didn't even think that you had friends to your groomsmen. Yet, here they are, and then you married Stefan, and she's like perfect. So I don't know what spell you have her under. Okay. Um, <clears throat> four score and seven. Oh, no, that's not good. We love you, and we're happy to have you as part of our. Get that cocoa bomb off your table. <laughs> as part of our family. I have a dream that one. No, that's not it. Stephanie, it's been a great joy. 
sorry, to be your teammate, your dance partner, your partner in crime. For Stephanie, Stephanie, uh, you made me a father for the first time. You probably didn't know that. You did know that. <laughs> Stephanie has been my sister all 22 years of my life. Believe it or not, that's how siblings work. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for taking the faith that your mom and I raised you in and making it your own. Watching you two build your relationship on me. I'm happy for you two. I am so glad to be a part of your... Don't look at them. I can't look at you. I love you, but I can't look at you. And I will say, love her more than love anyone else on the face of this earth. You put your spouse's best interest ahead of your own, and you'll have a long, happy marriage. Oh, and remember, Caleb, even when she's wrong, she's, she's right. right. <laughs> I've seen these two grow individually, and I've seen them grow as a couple. And now I get to recount that story on their wedding day, when they've not only spent eight hours together, but they're committed to a whole lifetime together. You two have been role models every young couple should look up to. So here's to two amazing people. To their marriage, may God fill their home. We love you. Congratulations. So to sum up, the only thing we have to fear is to oh, I give up. <laughs>